September 10th. Earlier this afternoon, I babysat for, Jam for Jamie while Mrs. Newton took Lucy to a doctor's appointment. Something was bothering him. He moped around as if he lost his best friend, and he greeted me with a with a cheer, um, he greeted me cheerfully enough when I arrived, but as soon as Mrs. Newton c carried a bundled up Lucy out the back door, his face peeled. Marianne. So, it must be, uh, it must be tough having a new baby sister at your house, huh, Jamie? It's okay. Does she cry a lot? Not much. Mommy rocks her and she stops. You seem kind of sad, Jamie. Babysitters used to be fun. They used to play games with me and color monster pictures and read me stories. Now they're too busy taking care of the baby? No. Too busy watching TV. Are you going to watch TV, Marianne? Me? No. I was going to ask if you wanted to see what's in the kid kit today. Kid kit? You brought the kid kit? Let me see. It's in the front hall. But wait a second, Jamie. Tell me more about your babysitters. Are you saying all they do is watch TV? And they have accidents. What kind of accidents? Like this. <gasps> a burn mark? One of your sitters did that? Yeah, with a cigarette. Gosh! Anything else? Sometimes they talk on the phone. They talk longer than Mommy and Daddy do. Marianne? Yes, Jamie? What's a boyfriend? It's, um, a, a friend who is a boy. Am I your boyfriend? Not exactly. Uh, listen, Jamie. Um... Who babysits, um, who babysits for you now? Do you know their names? Tammy, Barbara, and a boy. Jamie, if you don't like your sitters, you should tell your mommy. Tell her what you told me, and show her the chair, okay? Okay. I have a feeling Jamie's going to forget to tell her. Oh, hi, Dr. Johnson. I know it's last minute, but I need a sitter tonight. Charlotte's been asking for you. She has? Oh, of course I can come. Hi, Stacy. I'm glad to see you're here. Charlotte has been in a funny mood lately. She says she feels fine, but she's been out of sorts. I've arranged a conference with her teacher, but I just need you to know Mr. Johnson is working late tonight, and I have a PTA meeting. We'll both be back before 9. Oh, okay. Um, when you come home, could I talk to you? We're leaving for New York, um, on Saturday, and, uh, I have an idea. Certainly. See you later, sweetie. Uh-huh. So you need any help with your homework? No, it's easy. Well... If it's easy, you'll be able to finish soon, right? Why do you care? Charlotte, why are you talking to me like that? Who, why are you mad? I'm not mad. You sound mad. I only ask because I want to read the Cricket in Times Square with you when you're done. Oh, sure. Your mother said you were, you wanted me to sit for you. I just wanted you to come over. I didn't want you to babysit. I don't understand. Stacy, how come you sit for me? Because I like to speak. Because I like to. Because you're one of my favorite kids. But why do you really sit for me? What about the money? Well, of course, the money is nice. I thought so. But I like you. But I like you too. And if your mom and dad called and asked me to sit for you, even if they were poor, even if they were broke and couldn't pay me, I'd come anyway. 